We are dealing with Lewis's uh, section on Christian behavior in his book, Mere Christianity. This time he's talking about loving one's neighbor. How does one do that? What's the secret to learning to love other people? He reads, um, or he says here, charity means love in the Christian sense. But love in the Christian sense does not mean an emotion. It is a state not of the feelings, but of the will. That state of the will, which we have naturally about ourselves and must learn to have about other people. Love or charity for our neighbors is quite a different thing from liking or affection. We like or are fond of some people and not of others. It is important to understand that this natural liking is neither a sin nor a virtue, any more than your likes and dislikes in food are a sin or a, nature or a virtue. It is just a fact, but of course, what we do about it is either sinful or virtuous. So this is this the secret that he's going to give you on how to to learn to love your neighbor. He says, "Do not waste time bothering whether you love your neighbor. Act as if you did." As soon as you do this, we find one of the great secrets. When you are behaving as if you loved someone, you will presently come to love him. If you injure someone you dislike, you will find yourself disliking him more. If you do him a good turn, you will find yourself disliking him less. There is indeed one exception. If you do him a good turn, not to please God and obey the law of charity, but to show him what a fine forgiving chap you are, and to put him in your debt, and then sit down and wait for his gratitude, you will possibly be disappointed, or probably be disappointed. People are not fools. They have a very quick eye for anyone, like uh, for anything like showing off or patronage. But whatever we do, what, but whenever we do good to another self, just because it is a self made like us by God and desiring its own happiness as we desire ours, we shall have learned to love it a little more, or at least to, to dislike it less. Consequently, though Christian charity sounds a very cold thing to people whose heads are full of sentimentality, and though it is quite distinct from affection, yet it leads to affection. The difference between a Christian and a worldly man is not that the worldly man has only affection or likings and the Christian has only charity. The worldly man treats certain people kindly because he likes them and the Christian, trying to te treat everyone kindly, finds himself liking more and more people as he goes on, including people he including people he could not even have imagined himself liking at the beginning. This, I think, is so true. It really works. If you love people, it changes you. You know, so it's not so much about changing people, it's about changing you. And if you love people, you will find more and more people to love. The same spiritual law works terribly, this is Lewis again, in the opposite direction. The Germans perhaps at first ill-treated the Jews because they hated them. Afterwards, they hated them much more because they had ill-treated them. The more cruel you are, the more you will hate. And the more you hate, the more cruel you will become. And so on in a vi vicious cycle forever. Good and evil both increase at compound interest. That is why the little decisions you and I make every day are of such infinite importance. The smallest good act today is the capture of a strategic point from which a few months later 
you may be able to go on to victories you never dreamed of. An apparent, apparent trivial indulgence in lust or anger today is the loss of a ridge or railway line or bridgehead from which the enemy may launch an attack otherwise impossible. So some people worry about loving God. They know that they, sh they ought to love God. They cannot find such feelings in themselves. What are they to do? The answer is the same as before. Act as if you did. Do not sit trying to manufacture feelings. Ask yourself, if I were sure that I loved God, what would I do? And when you have found the answer, go and do it. Christian love, either towards God or towards man, is an affair of the will. So I'm going to uh, link to this the video two, um, two different videos. One is Ray Franz on Can JWs Really Love Neighbor in a Governing Body Closed Society? And the second one, the seven characteristics of the Christ Church in Acts 2, I thought would be worth revisiting. Next, we're going to talk about, do, will you have to pass a test? <laughs>